Let's look at a, another set of situations with regard to the circle then. So in our earlier work, we know all about the equation of a circle. We know how to find the center and the radius. We've looked at how to work with the diameter of the circle. Now we're going to look at uh, tangents and normals to the circle. And the problem we have here, um, our circle is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 13 equals 0. I want the tangent and the normal to that circle at this point here. Now, with something as basic as that, you don't really need a diagram to understand um, how to do the question. But often the question may progress beyond that to ask something else. And so I'm going to produce a diagram for this. Um, again, it illustrates one or two other points as well. Now, if we take our basic equation, we'll complete the square on that. So we'll have x plus 2 all squared. That gives me the 4x. Remember, you halve this number. Square it and take it away, so that's 4. y doesn't have anything with it. The y squared is on its own, so that stays as y squared minus 13. And so in the helpful version of the circle, I can write it. The, those two make 17, and that goes over there. From this, then I can look at this, and I can see that the center will be negative 2. There's nothing inside the y bracket, so the center of the circle is negative 2, 0. And the radius is the square root of 17, because this number here is r squared. Now, OK, that's a third. We don't need to work it out, but it's actually important that you understand how big that number is. Now, 17 is bigger than 16, and the square root of 16 is 4. So the crucial thing is that that's a bit bigger than 4. Now, you'll see why when I try to draw the diagram. So the center is here. Now, because the radius is more than 4, then that means that it's going to go out here to just beyond 2. So my circle will be like this. So when I look at the point P, 2, 1, I can see straight away that it's in the right sort of place because I know that this point here is slightly more than 4 away from negative 2. So that looks right, doesn't it? So if we were trying to make that look a little neater, that's the circle. And what do I want? I want the tangent and the normal at this point. So see how good today we are at drawing the tangents. Not bad. Now, what about the normal? Well, you are expected to know that the tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius. And of course, the radius here is going to be the normal. So I want to find the equation of that line, the tangent, and this line here. What do I know that will help me? Well, I know the coordinates of that point. I know the coordinates of that point. So I can find the gradient of that line. So let's put this C. <clears throat> so the gradient of CP is equal to the difference in the y, which is just 1, over the difference in x, which is negative 2 to 2, which is 4. So the gradient of Cp is a quarter. So if I call that m1, that's a quarter. That means then that the tangent will have a perpendicular gradient and Remember the rule, you invert this fraction and change the sign. So the gradient of the tangent is negative 4. 
and that's all the information I need. So I can do the equation of the tangent y minus y1, the, the point is uh, 1 is the y value. Make sure we get these the right way around. It's quite easy to get them wrong. So I'm at the moment I'm doing the tangent, so I'm doing this line here. So I need that for my gradient, x minus 2. And if we multiply that out, let's miss a line of working out, minus 4x, plus 8, and of course that's going to become another 1. So the tangent is y equals minus 4x plus 9. And the equation of the normal, still y minus 1 because it's the same point. The only difference is time, of course, is my gradient is a quarter, x minus 2. And so, remember the trick, we don't like this here. 4 times the other side is 4y minus 4 equals x minus 2. And so we can tidy that one up. 4y equals x, and that's going to be as plus 4, take 2, is plus 2. And so there you have the equation of the tangent uh, and the normal. Now I said to you that a diagram for that is, I don't know, I think perhaps we should say diagrams are always pretty crucial. Um, what you're likely to be asked to do with, uh, with, to do with this is to, so the questions that uh, we get, often we want to know where this point here is, where the tangent crosses, and then they might ask you what's the area of that triangle, something like that. So lots of things that we can do with this topic, um, lots of places that you can go wrong. And, but the crucial thing is, if you see the phrase tangent or normal to a circle, you must make use of the fact that the normal will be the radius. That, that's the crucial thing. Okay. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.